We are back here to the WEC after the Highlanders fall 63-61 to Jacksonville, a hard-fought game between two very athletic teams. And my pleasure to be back right alongside the top assistant here, Jeff Rafferty. Now, Jeff, you've kind of coined yourself and really been committed to, to working on team's defense, and in our case, obviously, the Highlanders. So let's step back for a second and talk about the Jacksonville effort on defense. Was that really the difference in today's game? Yeah, I thought so early on. I, I thought that they... Uh they really defended us well in the first half, and I thought that we didn't show much resiliency, and, and we got kind of stagnant in the first half offensively. Um, when we were aggressive, we turned the thing over. So it was, I, I thought today was one of those, was one of those uh, situations where we just we got into a funk early, and we had a tough time um, digging ourselves out. With that being said, we were only down two at the half. Um, but I thought Jacksonville did a lot of really good things. One thing they didn't take advantage of was, what, was our eight turnovers in the first half. I think they only had seven points on it. So that's why we were able to stay into the game. Um, but I just thought defensively all day they did a terrific job on Anthony Tark. They did a good job on Abdul Lewis in the first half, swallowing him up a little bit. Um, you know, we just we, we, we didn't make shots. We were four for 17, I think, from three. And, and, uh, but, the, but the story of the game, I thought, was the 19 turnovers we had. Yeah, now let's talk about, on the other side, the Highlander defense, because it wasn't like Jacksonville lit it up, scoring just 63 points, <coughs> and the Dolphins themselves had 15 turnovers. Again, as a defensive guy, what will you take from the Highlanders' effort on that end of the floor today? Well, I thought our, I thought our effort defensively was fine. Um, you know, we, 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 we did have a couple. Um, we had two kind of mishaps in the first half uh, and gave up two threes and I think we had another one in the second half so other than those three possessions where we got kind of hung up on ball screen coverage um, I, I thought our defensive effort was decent today I just you know I think today was one of those situations where uh, where we needed to take better care of the ball you know and, and uh, when we're a good team offensively we, we tend to be a pretty good team overall and today it would just and, and give all the credit to Jacksonville they did a heck of a job uh, you know, getting us into that funk early. As a guy who follows the Highlanders and has for a better part of a decade now, I had no problem with, the, with Zach Cooks, you know, the freshman late in the game in a two-point game, trying to make something happen and driving aggressively yep. to the hole. May have slipped a little bit, but uh, from a coaching perspective, is that the type of thing that uh, that we want to see moving forward? No question. I thought, I thought down the stretch here, um, we had a couple possessions, you know, Zach, Zach was an aggressive one. He turned it over. It, it, it's, that's tough, you know what I mean? Um, but there was some indecision, you know, uh, coming out of the timeout with one. And then, uh, you know, and then Shaquana, you know, it was four or five seconds to go in the game. Um, but you just got to try to make something go into the basket there. And then if they, you know, if they come in and, and uh, if they come in and, and stop the drive, you maybe get a kick out three or, or you take it as deep as you can get it. But I just, you know, in the end of the game situation, we weren't terrific today. Uh, by any means, but 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 again, it, it the mistakes were made earlier. You know what I mean. So um, you know, we just we, we got to be better so we're not in that situation. And if we are in that situation, we need to get a shot up on the rim. Big positive for me was kind of seeing Abdul Lewis play like the guy that we know he can be, and he's kind of a special center for this level of play. What he can do today: six offensive rebounds, a double double, 16 points, and 14 rebounds. Moving forward, is this kind of more like what you expect? Is he 100% healthy, and this is uh, yeah. Abdul Lewis? Yeah, I think he's healthy. I, I don't. That hasn't been an issue. He's practiced all week, and, and he looks pretty good. You know, I, I think we need to do a better job getting him the ball. You know, and, and defenses, you know, start by stopping him. Um, they game plan versus him um, first, I think. And, and you know, we got some talented perimeter players, but I think they. Uh, they kind of game plan to stop him, and, and he does a nice job passing the ball to the post. What we have to do, be able to do is get him the ball, um, you know, and if they trap and we get the ball back out, maybe get him a second feed. You know, I, I just feel like there's so, so many possessions where he gets one touch, and that's the only touch he gets. And, you know, when, when we can get him in, in the ball in the scoring area, he, he's a talented player, like you said. And, and uh, you know, we, we need to, you know, 16 points on nine shots. That's great production. So. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, one thing that uh, many of our viewers may or may not know, actually, obviously, uh, Jeff Rafferty from the New England area, and you knew that you have two big games against Jacksonville. This was probably the one you definitely wanted to win. That said, I hope there's only uh, one Jacksonville team for your sake that is victorious. So regroup from this one, get ready for Kennesaw. Wow, for you, your you sake, yeah, you lost me sake, there for a quick Brady. second. Let's I, go. I, I mean, you know, you can't. <laughs> you just, I had no idea where you were going with that, to be honest with you. <laughs> See, you your mind's in you, basketball. You were right? already you talking about football. the next Jacksonville game, and I, that, that's what was on with. Yeah, yeah, who knows? Uh, hopefully, the Patriots <laughs> play well tomorrow. They're pretty good. So, well, uh, well hopefully, they can get a win. They got a guy named uh, Brady, I yeah, believe. Yeah. Pretty Brady good and Belichick are pretty good. Yeah, so. they're not bad. Yeah. 
Well, Rafferty and Kennedy have had some success here in Newark, and hopefully that'll continue Wednesday. Let's uh, regroup a couple extra days and go down to Georgia and, uh, and uh, let those guys go on back. Zach Cooks and maybe San Antonio Brinson show the Peachtree State that Newark can sometimes reign supreme even in Georgia. Yeah, no doubt. And, uh, you know, we're, we're right in the grind now. League play and every game's a war. And, you know, the first two weekends, no road teams won. And, and there's been a couple... Uh, road wins here this weekend so we just got we got to bounce back you know we've played well at home this season today obviously was a hiccup um but we got to bounce back when we come here next weekend um and before that we gotta we we, we gotta fight and, and get that elusive road win that we've been waiting for let's hope it's wednesday again that is jeff rafferty we thank him for his time as the highlanders go down 63 61 in a dog fight with the dolphins and of course we'll be back here against lipscomb a couple mondays from uh, from now uh, next Highlander men's home game. Jeff, have a great rest of the weekend, and we'll catch up with you sometime next week. Thanks, man. All right, again, that is Jeff Rafferty. I'm Matt Province, and thanks for watching this edition of The Raff Report.